Well, authorities digging into the how and why of this case. There's still, though, of course, the question of whether anyone will be facing criminal charges. News Nation correspondent Nancy Liu live for us in Los Angeles. So, Nancy, what do we know about potential charges, if any, in relation to the shooting? Well, Nicole, with authorities indicating that criminal charges remain on the table, the key questions are who knew what, when, and where had that gun been before it was handed to Alec Baldwin? Also, why were there live rounds on that set? Legal experts have noted that this case involves clear negligence and civil lawsuits are a certainty. As one of the producers on the film, Baldwin could be held civilly liable along with with about 10 others in the producing ranks. Also facing possible legal fallout, armorer Hannah Gutierrez and assistant director Dave Halls, the one who handed the gun to Baldwin and announced cold gun, indicating it was safe. Other charges could be possibly considered if prop guns were indeed used for recreational target practice by crew members or if claims of previous misfires on set are confirmed and were brought to attention, but production went on anyway. So a lot hinges on the additional interviews to be done by investigators on this case. And today, the sheriff said that includes about 100 people who are also working on the production of Rust. Nicole? All right, Nancy, so about 100 other people also working on that production staff. And there's word of a separate investigation by OSHA. Do we have any idea what could come from that? Yeah, Nicole, the New Mexico Bureau of OSHA does have its separate investigation going. That's because this perhaps involves a multitude of workplace safety issues and OSHA can impose civil penalties whether or not authorities rule that a crime has occurred here. Nicole? All right, Nancy, thank you for that. We'll certainly see what happens.